it going guys and welcome back to another episode of how to in this episode we're going to be taking a look at making wigglers so we're going to make things that uh, you can use for snakes uh, fish as well uh, use it to make the shark in the last video uh, you can use it to make flying things as well I used it to make the rainbow serpentine I'll show you how to set that up as well that's actually pretty straightforward but this will basically be a uh, just a basic tutorial on how to set up your hinges so that you can get either back and forth or an up and down motion for any kind of aquatic or squirmy things that you want to build. So I'm going to start with an aquatic seat to begin with because I'm going to show you how to build a basic fish action. So we're going to go to our hinges, we're going to select large hinge, place that on the back. We want to copy it and we need two. So the way I do it is, you can probably use logic to set this up as well. I have no idea how to do it. But uh, so this is the way I do it. I take two. So basically one is going to be swinging green. The other one is going to be swinging green as well. And we set it to swing in the opposite direction. And then we're going to set our timing on these to, all right, so we'll say green is going to be our space bar. So we can get rid of the control on the red and speed we can leave at one angle we can set at 30 we can leave that there until we need to change that uh the duration so this is where basically you're setting or determining the speed of how quick your hinge is going to move back and forth uh the speed also determines whether or not it has enough time to cover the angle that you've given it so if you tell it to go 90 degrees and you only give it 0 0.3 seconds it can't go 90 degrees in that much time so you have to balance between those two to get the effect that you're looking for so let's start for a duration, let's say uh, 0 0.7. So if they both go for 0 0.7, that means this one is going to go first to the green. And then what we want to do is set our second one to have a delay of the same amount of time, 0 0.7, so that it doesn't activate until this one is done first time. I know both need a 0 0.7 second pause as well. Let's spawn that in, jump in the seat, hit spacebar, and let's add some, uh, let's add a block on the end there so that's a little more pronounced. So we can see what's happening. Right, we'll jump in, spacebar. As you can see, we've got it going back and forth. So that's the first set of hinges. That's the simple part. So now what we can do is we can grab these hinges and we can copy them. I copy them straight up so that they don't rotate or twist their angles when sending that here to the back. Now that's going to be the exact same. So if we copy a block out here, now if we build that in and we try and do that, there's no delay so they they automatically start. See it's got a quite a wide sweep to it. So what I like to do is put a small delay so that this one, these two sets will start and these ones here will have a slight delay afterwards and that's how you get your wiggle action in there. So if we were to keep on spawning these out, grab all of these, this is the downside to not throwing in any kind of uh, a delay in between them. So we jump in and now we hit the space bar. Now, I mean, you could, if you want your fish to move like that or you want a snake to move like that, that's all fine and dandy, but the longer it gets, it's basically just going to curve in a big circle and then a curve in a big circle the other way, which isn't very organic. There's nothing really that moves like that. So to get around that, what we do is we add a slight delay in the action of the hinges. So in these two here, so I always consider the first ones here the ones that have no delay. So they move automatically. So if I were to add a 0 0.2 second delay to that first hinge, I need to add 0 0.2 seconds to this hinge, but it's already at 0 0.7, so that makes that 0 0.9. So now I've added a 0 0.2 second delay to these two, and we'll do the same thing, but I need to remember that if I continue that delay down the line, we need to make this. This one here is set at 0 0.2. That means this one gets set to 0 0.4. This one gets to 0 0.6. This one is set to 0 0.9, so that means this one adds 2 to that, so that would be 1.1. This one would be 1.3. And we'll build that into the world, and we'll jump in there, hit spacebar, 
And as you can see, a much smoother, more organic looking motion to that. So now what we can do, and I've found that the, the best propellants in the water anyways, are the large paddles. So we can rotate this. Let's stick a couple of these on the back. And then we'll spawn into the world, into the water, and we'll see if this actually propels us forward. Can't really tell if it's propelling us at all because we're falling straight to the bottom. So we'll get down here and rebuild so we'll be flat. And now we'll hold spacebar and see if this actually moves us forward. As you can see, it is moving us ahead slightly. Six or seven kilometers an hour. So again, this is keeping it fully bionic as well. So that's a, basically how you make a snake. You can change the speed of all of these. Let's say, let's set them up to two. And the water speed is a lot more dampened because of the viscosity of the water. Let's see, if we were to add, let's go with a couple of small slow pieces like this. And we'll see if that gives us any more speed. Hold space. Well, I can see one thing that it is doing is it's preventing the rotation, but we are moving a little bit faster as you can see. So, one way to deal with that issue would be just to grab all of these. One, two. Grab our magic deuce. Drop that in there. Just extend out the, uh, the movement slightly. Just a small amount. Do the same for the other ones. That. Let's try that. It's definitely moving faster. But it's dragging on the bottom. Oh, it's a dragon. No, it's not a dragon. I say it's dragon on the bottom. Aye. All right, let's add a couple of small, you know, these little wee little flotation devices. Maybe it'll go medium one, I guess. The problem here is we've got to move these ahead by one, I believe. So we're not getting the action that we should be getting. Like that. Build that in. I say that a lot, don't I? As you can see, be a bad, bad guy to work at a school for the blind. As you can see, we've got. Yeah. So, you can see the action <laughs> of the uh, the snake and those those uh, large paddles actually work pretty well for propelling through the water. Now you just need some stabilizing fins and some control surfaces. You can make that as long as you want. wants to swim to the surface now. So there's a, a basic idea of how to make a snake or uh, that's also good for fish. And if you want to go with a big fish kind of look like I did on the shark, you just basically need to slow down a couple of the hinges or change the slight timing difference in where you want. Like the for the shark, the head would go, but the tail was a little bit slower on the hinges. So it looked like it was lagging behind a little bit. Also gives it a, a bulkier look, makes it look like it's a bigger object than it actually is. Apparently uh, staying on top of the water here, we're doing about 20, 25, somewhere in there on the surface. Completely bionic, no thrusters, no propellers. And it's staying upright because of that flotation device on its back. So let's go back up to the aircraft carrier and we'll try and do the same thing, but we'll do it uh, horizontally. All right, so for this one, let's start with, let's go with our lightest seat. We want to be out in the open. I'm going to attempt to make this fly, kind of like the uh, serpentine, rainbow serpentine. So what we want to go with here is the small hinges. And we're basically doing the same thing that we did before. So we need a double set, front and back. This is a little more tedious than with the large hinges because there's only one of them. So we'll select them all. We'll set our speed, we'll leave that at one. Our duration, 
Uh, yeah, 0 0.7 seemed to work. We'll go with that again. 0 0.7 on our pause, and our second set will have the delay of 0 0.7. And we will select all of these, and again, green is going to be our space bar. It's going to be giving us our wiggle. Speed is good. Let's throw a block on there. Something like that, and then we'll build it in, jump in the seat, hit spacebar. And it wiggles up and down. So, that needs to be a wee bit faster, I believe. So, instead of changing the speed here, which would be the easier thing to do, actually, let's just crank that up to two and see what that looks like. Yeah, that might not be too bad. It's not quite as quick as I'd like, but we'll make it work. So we'll copy these again straight up and then back, connect that and maybe we'll do it one more time. So we've got three sections like this. So same thing with the vertical. Horizontally we want to do the same thing in adding a delay. So we'll go with our 0.2 second delay again. All right, let's check that out. Just have a squirmy wormy action now. And with that kind of action, we can add some wings to the sides, like this. We want to copy these back for to here, and then copy these back for to here, and these ones back for to here. And then we're gonna know we're gonna try and fall sideways, so we want to put some stabilizers on there just to keep it straight. And let's try and see what that does. That does nothing. Okay, but the wings have the weird effects, so we're gonna copy these ones out one more time, and then on this side, and now we're gonna try again. It looks like it wants to go backwards. It's going backwards, man. So, going hammerhead style here. Again, it seems like it wants to go backwards. Well, let's put these at the back. Try that. Try that. Ooh, almost. Is this a weight issue? A wing issue. Alright, and let's try making at the front with a little less angled movement. We'll go down to, let's say, 15. So it's not slammed into the ground so much and wants to stay more level. And we'll see if the rest of the wings actually give us enough motion to push us. Or our squirm time isn't right. So, that's this for radical. So we'll select our tail hinges here. I'm gonna flip them 180 degrees. Now it's doing an inchworm. edge here. Let's see if this thing actually has the ability to even keep itself in the air. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa! Maybe we'll have the nose going up first. So we'll just reverse these hinges. So again, because we have no weight, or these tail fins are creating weight in the back, so let's uh, 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 add a little bit of weight in the front by maybe a little bit of aerodynamics as well. It should give us a little bit more weight in the front. Let's see how it likes that. flying like a butterfly. So now let's just double up some of that weight on the front here by copying this around. Give it a flip. Same thing with these. Flippity flop. Oh. 
over here. That should give us some extra weight now. Let's see if we can get it to pull ourselves forward. So close. Wants to. Just doesn't like the friction from the ground. Once it gets off the ground and it has the movement range, it seems like it wants to keep itself in the air. So, just for shits and giggles, let's throw a mini thruster on the back. Let's see, I'll make that left shift. Just use those to give us some forward motion. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, my bad. That's pretty heavy. So let's move those up to the front here. So now it seems like we have a little bit too much weight in the front. And as you can see, if we turn the thrusters off now, ooh, 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 I gotta push down. Ooh. Yeah, we're ornithopter style now. So I'm pull, holding back on W, and then it, yeah. But again, this is a pretty short body length as well, so it's it's gonna want to rotate. So yeah, you can just make this as long as you want, add as many wings as you want on either side. So yeah, that's basically how to wiggle, how to make things that wiggle, vertically, horizontally. But yeah, don't forget to hit thumbs up, hit that like button, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hope that helped you out. If you enjoy what you see here, check out some of this content on the end screen. We'll see you guys in the next one. Going for a swim. Ciao.